Hi everyone, my name is Emily Bobbis and I'm one of the founders of Compass IoT. If you've ever driven through a major city, you might have noticed rubber strips on the road. Or you might have seen people standing by the side of a road manually counting vehicles. This is how most of our traffic speed and volume data is collected. In fact, we've been collecting traffic data in the same way since at least the 1930s. But in 2020, as our urban populations are growing, our cities are expanding, and the strain on our infrastructure is only getting worse, do we really think that these ways of collecting traffic data are still adequate? Why are we trying to plan the cities of 2050 using the technologies of the 1930s? The problem is that city planners currently spend a lot of money on hardware to understand our cities. This hardware is outdated, it's time consuming to implement, and it's really expensive to use. $6,000 is what it costs the average traffic consultant to analyze the traffic flows at a single intersection. One traffic consultancy might do hundreds of impact studies per year, and if you consider in Sydney alone, the number of traffic engineers, local councils, research organisations that all use traffic data, all of a sudden you have a billion dollar problem. What if we could make the process of gathering traffic data more efficient and more cost effective to better future proof our city infrastructure? Compass is building a digital transport management platform. The purpose of Compass is to replace this expensive and outdated hardware with a software-based solution that's cheaper, more accessible, and faster to use. The value for users is that they can view traffic data for any road in Australia, for any time period, instantly. In the last four months, we've achieved $100,000 in annual reoccurring revenue. We've successfully onboarded five clients and an independent report has verified our speed data to be 97 to 100% accurate compared to existing methods of data collection. This means Compass's platform already meets industry standards for accuracy. Within the next two years, we have five goals for growth. We want to improve on our existing platform, invest in our software capabilities, and eventually scale nationally. But traffic and infrastructure planning is not just an Australian problem. We intend to scale internationally, initially expanding to New Zealand and eventually to the UK. Our team has two asks. First, we're looking for contacts into councils, consultancy firms, state governments, or any industries that will benefit from better data for transport and infrastructure projects. Second, our team sees the value in the knowledge of others. Similar to the ecosystem that we have built for our customers, we want to build an ecosystem of mentors that can provide support and feedback as we continue to develop and expand Compass IoT. I want you to think back to that $6,000 intersection, that four week long slog of a project. With Compass, that four week problem becomes a four second problem. Thank you.